puppy, I'm inappropriate. I like hearing stories, I like the whole script. You're such a freaky girl, I love it. Snatches and snatchers. I didn't film in the fabric store. Why do I have so much black marks all on my face? This is called 30. Anyways, now that that's fixed a little mildly, I don't know, whatever. This is the top in question behind me, okay? This. And people liked it on TikTok. I didn't film in the fabric store, but it's okay, bitch, because I have my own fucking fabric store. All kind of fucking fabric. All kinds of fine, shiny ones and stretchy ones and glittery ones and furry ones and velvety ones and i just went to joann's and furthered my addiction see this is actually not this color purple it's actually that color that sparkly purple okay i got this to make dog shirts later on but yeah satiny ones some more and so i'm going to show you and put it in whole terms because you know there's regular people terms and they are kind of difficult you gotta watch like a hundred videos to finally understand what one bitch is talking about or there's whole terms and i try to make it as simple and digestible as possible you know that so let's get to it well first things first obviously we're gonna choose our thread and we're gonna thread our machine so this machine tells you how to thread it just like that I put this hole and in this thread do a little hole like that good thing I'm a fucking expert at that see my problem is I'm just as blind as a bat Then I already have wound my bobbin with the color thread that I want to use. This might not even be the color thread I want to use because this is blue and who knows what color shirt I'm going to make right now. Um, I've already made... Yeah, I guess we'll go with blue. You got blue, right? Yeah, we'll go with blue. And um, so then I hold on to both strings like this after I, cause I threaded this through here. And then the bobbin, right? The bobbin's in there and I just grabbed the thread and then you just do a little turnage of the wheel and you'll see the thread go from over here to across the bobbin and then your machine is ready to go next step we got to go get our material choose the material you want and I'm gonna move the sewing machine out of the way so then you can see me struggle to cut it and you, I am in no way a sewing expert so far. There are plenty of people that do a lot better than me. I'm just trying to explain it in a different way and just explain what I know as of this point, as of throwing, sewing, having sewn, as of having sewn three things now, one of which being that little top. And yeah, I bought this table that I use for sewing at Ikea in the clearance section because it has two white legs and two black legs for $29. I bought this Janome mini sewing machine, super cute, super small, does everything you need it to do for $60 off of OfferUp. And I bought this, which is like literally a must have if you're gonna start sewing at Walmart for like $25, it came with this for cutting. And so a lot of the things like if you're an experienced sewer I don't know what is that what it's called sewer if you're experienced at sewing you're probably going to cringe at a lot of the things that i do because i just haven't figured out that part yet or i haven't i haven't learned that yet so don't come for me but i know that i started out by cutting individual pieces before realizing that it was so much easier to cut the fabric folded in half so then two pieces actually comes out as one piece. But I'm not gonna lie, I do not know at all the specific place to start on the fabric or anything like that. So I just basically wing it. And that's probably stupid, probably wastes 
some, I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments down below. I don't really need this part. Let me know in the comments down below if um, you have any suggestions on how to start this fabric. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to be starting. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to start with the end, like this end. One specific spot, like at the top or the bottom. So the three things that I've made so far, I have just pinned the fabric to, I mean the pattern to the fabric and cut around it. Well, today I bought myself a handy dandy fabric erasable marker for this very type of project. And I'm thinking, cause sometimes I fuck up and I, I like end up cutting the pattern or, or whatever. This is a fucking terrible angle for me. Okay, let's adjust this. So I end up cutting the pattern a lot of the times. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do right now, just to try it, just for shits and gigs, you know, is like pin it in a couple places so that it doesn't move. You hear Moana? She's pissed. She's the one that wanted to go down there. How is that my problem? I had her up here with me just a second ago. She was crying, crying, crying. She wanted to go down. She wanted me to get Nala, but Nala been fucking her up lately and she's got little bald spots on her and it's just, I gotta watch them very closely if they're gonna play together. So she needs to just take a chill pill. She's the one that was over here scratching me. Be able to go downstairs. So now she, now she needs to make up her mind. Okay, so I think my idea is I'm going to Trace it with the marker and then cut it. Actually, no, because no, I'm not going to do it that way. I, I don't feel like the fabric will stay folded in the same exact spots if I do it that way. So we're just going to do it this way. See, so there's arrows right here. So they go along the fold. And then you just try your fucking hardest to get as close. I know it looks easy, but it is fucking hard sometimes. To the edge of the pattern as you can without fucking get up, okay? Without cutting turn of the pattern off. Without going too far outside of the pattern. Either way, you're probably going to have to go back and fix some of it, but. And I don't do one continuous motion. I just do the motions that are easiest and work best for me. See, I already got way too close. <sighs> trim around the edges, but that's one side of the pattern. I hate wasting fabric, so I really am going to have to look into how to do this the correct way. Or the most efficient way. Then you take your other pattern piece, line the edge with the arrows, by the way, I've got these pattern piece that these patterns. I get the pat my patterns off of Etsy. They don't have that big of a selection, honestly, but they do have some stuff and whatever. I mean, I'm just learning, so it's no big deal. Um, and then they send it to you or a link to you to be able to download them and. 
you do and you print them out and you put them together, tape them, and then you get to have them forever and reuse them and reuse them and reuse them. And they, um, the reason why there's different lines on them, like there's dotted lines, straight lines, all that stuff, is because those represent like the different sizes that you can make. So. looks like a, reminds me of like a Cinderella, ow, a Cinderella type um, color and material. Okay, so here we go again. And by the way, if you don't want to take time to make one of these, but you still want one of these, I'm selling them. I have them up for sale on my website, which actually I have like, I consider it like a fucking steal because it's like my own two precious hands making it um, for $35 and you get to pick your color. In size, obviously. Because I'm gonna make them to order. I'm not gonna just like make them and then hope that somebody buys that specific one in that specific size. They fit really nice. And it's just so much, I'm like addicted to buying the fabric now because I just like, I'm like, oh, I would love to have, you know, just like how I have like all this sugar thrills shit. It's a sugar thrill slash doll, it's all skills, but mainly sugar thrills. And I love the aesthetic of it. It's like all, all pastel-y colors. So I like looking at it. Like I feel like accomplished <laughs> in it for some reason. Like, oh, look at my collection of Sugar Thrills stuff. It's just, it's all pink, purple, and blue, um, you know? And then, so I see materials and, well, I, before I started, well, before I started sewing, I was like buying stuff from Dolls Kill all the time. Like, and it gets expensive obviously and I was just thinking like I bet that I mean there's not much to this I bet that I could learn how to do it and then make stuff exactly how I want it and be super proud of it and have stuff nobody's ever seen before So now I go to fabric stores all the time. I need to stop because I'm like hoarding fabric and it gets expensive. And I'm just like, that would be pretty. That would make a pretty something. But I'm not ever sure what exactly. <gasps> oh, I was like, holy shit. I thought I just cut off the fold. I was like, oh no.
yeah, there's some little rough edges we're gonna have to fix. side up the first piece then take your second piece of material lie it down with the shiny side down so you're making a good side sandwich you're gonna do your best to fix your fucked up cutting abilities And this middle part doesn't have to match up. Mainly the sides or the bottom, just try to match it up and then you can cut probably these sides. You know, somewhere where it looks like, put it in a position, lay it in a position where more things match up than don't. Okay, so if I put it like this, Basically these match up and those match up pretty much. And I'll have to cut this, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and try to even it out, make it all the way 100% match up. them up as best as you can then pin them then we're going to go back around front and back making sure that all of the unnecessary little edges that don't belong are cut off Oh, 
Let me open the new way to close the top. so bitch and my number one advice to you is that practice 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 makes perfect nothing else will make you perfect it's gonna make you extremely fucking frustrated at first i mean extremely frustrated at first i wanted to quit i hella wanted to quit i was like fuck this shit i'm not doing this shit fuck this i don't want to do it anymore it's dumb i give up um i don't know how many times and but and another other thing is is when you start to get frustrated walk away for a while just walk away for a while so i have my machine set at four for the tension and b for the stitch and we're just gonna start on one of these edges and we already had set our set sewing machine up remember I'm gonna put a back stitch in it to keep it together too. Don't worry if you're not able to do it as fast as I am. Like, this is only after practicing for, like, a week, okay? If you can't get it after a week, then start bitching. But if it's not been a week yet, don't start bitching about it. It takes, it takes so much practice, like, just, like, driving a car or anything else. Um, I, at first, I was just going, putting, barely pushing my foot on the pedal and, and doing, like, two stitches and then stopping and then doing like two stitches and it was taking me forever. And uh, I couldn't sew a straight line to save my life. Not even close. Couldn't grasp the concept. But you know what helps a lot? Is this. I bought this pack of magnetic guides off of Amazon and it came in a three pack for like six bucks. And you put it right there and it keeps it straight for you. Okay guys, I actually took the Liberty sewing to more of the sides, so now that just leaves one of the sides, and so let's finish it. Always remember that in between, you know, after you cut one side free, after you've sewn it all the way, and you cut it away from the sewing machine, I don't know all the technical terms, you know, um, or whatever, you have to go ahead and hold these two strings again. The string from the needle and string from the bobbin and spin this wheel so that the bobbin string goes across the bobbin again and you can pull it through every single time otherwise you're not gonna sew it correctly so here's the last side that we need to sew let's do this shit and see how it turned out i'll link the pattern down below by the way in case you're interested and i also in case you're interested in not or in case you don't want to take the time to make it you just want the shirt um they are for sale in the color of your choice and the size of your choice on my website daddyissues.live so how you would type it in is just at https colon backslash backslash daddy issues period live and then enter so put the presser foot down 
start. Backstitch. Keep going. Surprise! Because it, it, I was I couldn't sew a straight line a couple days ago. I couldn't sew a straight line, and now I just really need to practice at like certain seams and um, overlocking or overstitching. I need to practice at um, maintaining a certain hem width the whole way down. But I mean, like the straight lines thing, that was hard for me. That was a learning curve. I didn't think I was going to ever be able to get it. I became extremely frustrated very quickly. I just wanted to give up. And now, now look at me. So I'm with the best of them. And like, you know, if I've gotten this far already, I can only imagine where I can go from here. Now, the correct thing to do would also be to hem the sides. I mean all the sides, the areas that we haven't sewn yet, to fold them in and hem them so that when you wash them, it doesn't like shred and fray. So we're going to also have to do that as well. Um, I'm going to record it very quickly, but yeah, if you already know how to do that, then you could just click off of the video. But anyways, yeah, comment down below um, after this video and let me know do you know how to sew do you are you interested in knowing how to sew do you like this video would you like me to make more videos um but i'll be right back i'm gonna put this top on it so i can show you and you see this is this is fraying this is why i'm gonna have to hem the bottom and like hem right here and hem right here um so that it doesn't do this even worse that's why i will eventually buy an overlocking machine overlocker machine but, and I can go ahead and take some of this rhinestone fringe tough, and put it at the bottom. And there you go, wham bam, thank you ma'am. There's your tap. So yeah, until next time. Bye-bye.